Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. If you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Courtney Shanice, nice to meet you. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate your continued support. So today I will be doing my February's empty unboxing, showcasing video. Um, yeah, so I've been doing the 22 for 2022 panning project, but I've also been using products on the side. Um, so that's what I'll be showing you today. Um, yeah, I've kind of gotten used to now keeping things that I've used up. My normal habit is once it's used, just throw it away. Um, but yeah, this <laughs> really has been testing my memory and trying to keep it somewhere so I remember it. Um, but yeah, so let's crack on. I have a bit of makeup, I've got a bit of food, I've got a bit of candle and perfume so yeah first we've got the number seven stay perfect foundation this is 24 hour wear for radiant and healthy looking skin medium coverage in spf 30 so this is the foundation i've been using i've been in the shade creme or cream however you want to pronounce it i really liked this um it was very good for the skin um, it is hyperallergenic, so it was really comfortable, not heavy at all. Um, it didn't make my skin feel oily or greasy or just anything like that. It was quite nice, smooth, matte. Um, not 24 hour wear, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> um, I would say it, you could get it for a good five to six hours. Um, but yeah, I was having to top up quite a bit. Um, which I think is the norm for most foundations. I know they claim they're so long hour stay put, but let's be honest, most of them you do have the top up every now and then, um, especially on like the forehead, the nose, the chin. Um, so yeah, I'm not mad about it at all. Um, the colour match was perfect for me. Um, I did go to number seven to their counter and got the lady professionally um, skin match me to a foundation and it was absolutely perfect. Um, I didn't look tangoed, I didn't look ghost-like, um, so yeah, really happy with this. I am going to be honest, I've not repurchased this, um, not because I don't like it, but just because I'm one of those people, I like trying new things, um, and yeah, I've got a haul video coming up soon, um, and I'll be showing you what the new foundation is that I've picked, so, and this is really super affordable, which is another good thing. Next is the number seven Lash Impact False Look Mascara. Love the component or glitz and glamour. So this is just your typical black mascara. Really love the brush, really easy to use. Um, and yeah, I had no problems with it. Absolutely liked the way it made my eyelashes really pop out. And yeah, again, really super affordable, um, did its job. Um, so yeah, not really much else to say about that. <laughs> okay, next is the More Is More Judith Liber For Her Perfume Trio. I believe I got this in a glossy box. Yep, I, <laughs> Liz, what I'm telling you, I did accidentally throw one away. But, you know, I managed to remember to keep two of them, which is really good going for me. Um, but yeah, these were so beautiful. Um, one is like floral, one is zesty, one is that gourmet, whatever that means. Um, but you could literally wear them on their own or mix and match. And I really liked that. Um, it was just really um, nice to wear. And I even noticed that even after like an hour or so, I could still smell it on myself, which is very rare when it comes to other perfumes. Um, but yeah, I really, really liked this so much so that I did go online to see if I could buy it. And it's £130. Yeah, I can't justify spending that much. Um, they don't even have a smaller size. It's literally one size. You've got one component, three fragrant options, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, it's £130. I can't justify that. So if anyone wants to buy it for me, be my guest. Um, but yeah, this is just going to be something that 
will be a sweet memory um if i can find like more of the little samples i probably will get a few because i really like them um but yeah if you can find the samples i definitely recommend you try it i really liked it um i love the packaging by the way but yeah i just can't justify that amount of money for a perfume not in so much <laughs> um so yeah next is the harper's candles figgy pudding handmade soy wax candle i got this in a, a vegan kind subscription box um i used to subscribe to them uh two years ago um and i don't know right i just never got around to burning this candle so this winter i was like right let's do it and oh my days it is so yummy I mean, I love candles, I love pudding, put them together, it was a match made in heaven. Um, absolutely loved smelling this. Um, so yeah, it was really good. Really happy with that. Um, I have found Harper's candles online um, and they're quite reasonable price. So I, uh, I am thinking about going onto their website and buying a few more because they've got so many amazing sounding scents. Um, and yeah, this was just perfect for the winter season. And they're quite a good size and they burn for ages. Like, don't be fooled. It does burn nice and slow so you can really enjoy it. Okay, next is the Sweet Freedom Choc Shot Winter Spice Liquid Chocolate. Absolutely love the little bear with his little hat. <laughs> um, it is plant-based, which is brilliant. So yeah, Choc Shot is an amazing alternative to hot chocolate it is a fraction of the sugar content so if you're like me i have a hot chocolate every single night before bed without fail and even in the summer on the hottest day i will have a hot chocolate because i just love that night routine i like making myself a hot chocolate getting into bed sipping my hot chocolate maybe reading a book and then going to sleep it's like brilliant um and yeah, knowing that this is a lot less sugar than normal hot chocolates just makes me feel a bit better about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the Winter Spice Edition, was so lovely. And um, they do so many other flavors. Um, I've tried a few. I tend to go to TK Maxx um, because you can get them for £2.99. Um, I think in the store they're like £3 something, near £4. So you're not really saving much. But let's be honest, every little helps and I love TK Maxx. So I definitely go in there and try and see if I can find these. You don't always find them, but sometimes when you do, I definitely stock up. So yeah, it's got no palm oil, it's high in fibre, no GMOs, made in the UK. And you could also use it on pancakes, you can use it in your porridge if you like chocolatey porridge. Um, so yeah, it's got quite a few uses and it's really yummy. So and it is only 13 calories per teaspoon. I tend to do it where I'll do two to three teaspoons, depending on the size of the mug that I use, um, and then just heat up the weather. I use oat milk, but you could use almond milk, you could use goat's milk, you could use normal milk, whatever one you use. Um, heat it up and then just pour it in, give it a good stir, and you've got an amazing chocolate tea drink. It's brilliant. Okay. Next is the Primal Pantry Coca Four Times Raw Food Bars that just contain six ingredients. These are really good for just like on the go. They are made with dates, sunflower seeds, raisins, pumpkin seeds, coca and coca nibs. Um, so yeah, like I said, six ingredients. So it's literally just fruit, seeds and coca. They mush it together, create a bar. And it's just a really good like power snack. Um, I have either one in the morning or I'll have like one in the afternoon just like to give me a bit of boost. Um, really good to take to work. Uh, they are gluten free, they are vegan, carbon neutral. Um, so yeah, really like these. I think they're like two pounds in Tesco's. Next, or the last two items are these two. You can see a habit of mine. So these are the Trek Protein Flapjacks. So this one is white chocolate and raspberry, and this one is smooth lemon. 
I definitely think the smooth lemon is my favourite. Um, but yeah, they all contain nine grams of protein. They're gluten free. They're vegan. Um, they're made with really good ingredients. They're just made with um, gluten free oats, soya, lemon curd flavour, um, veg oil, rice powder, um, sugar cane. Yeah. And this one is the freeze dried raspberries and white chocolate. But yeah, it's the same base. But yeah, again, I have I typically have one in the morning at work, um, with either my cup of tea or cup of coffee. Um and yeah, it just keeps me going through the morning. Um so yeah, I'm not really a breakfast person, um, so I tend to wait till like 10 a.m. Um, once I've looked through all my emails at work and I'll just have one of these and then I'll be good for lunchtime. So yeah, that is everything. It's not a lot, which is why I've had to bulk it out with my snacks. Um, but yeah, just February, I didn't really use much. Um, but hopefully in March, I'll have a few more empties to share with you. Um, I'm really enjoying this uh, project and it's definitely motivating to watch others do it because then it helps encourage you to do the same um but yeah i hope you've enjoyed watching this um like i said i have got my whole video um which i have already pre-recorded um but i want to upload this one first and then upload the haul um so yeah do check out that one when it uploads um i just want to say a massive thank you i'm getting so close to 1k it's really exciting um it will be my three year anniversary in Ju july um <laughs> i think that is july um so it'd be amazing if i can reach 1k by july so if you can share me out i would be so appreciative and also i want to say a massive thank you because my watch hours have gone up so much lately in the last week or two um even my average viewing time is like in the green which is brilliant um so yeah thank you so much for all that please do continue to support me um and yeah i'm trying my best to support all of you amazing people that i know watch me so yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed please do give me a thumbs up if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below let me know your thoughts on these products and also let me know what you've enjoyed trying in february if you have any recommendations i love hearing them or even if it's just to say hi because i love saying hi to you all as well all right well have a safe time all oh, my days i can't believe we're at march it's especially spring even the seagulls <laughs> i live nowhere near the sea but um yeah they somehow managed to get into mainland um they're excited it is spring the daffodils are up which is brilliant the sun is shining um so yeah enjoy it and i'll see you in the next one bye guys